Hello, today I'm going to begin a series, a series of discussions on electro pneumatic air rifles and the advantages of electro pneumatic systems over mechanical systems. So to begin, I want to talk about the history of the solenoid valve. The solenoid valve originated in the 1910s when uh, we basically started to use electricity to move and magnetics to move um, components. Well, um, ASCO was one of the first companies that developed the actual valve system where they used a small electronic coil to move a valve mechanism to control the flow of fluids or gases. Well, the technology advanced tremendously over the years. Now the solenoid valve is used in almost everything. Cars, HV, HVAC systems, missile systems, just absolutely amazing the use and it's a very important part of today's technology. The improvements in the valves have become so tremendous from a reliability standpoint that less than 1% of the valves fail, and that's over years and years of use. On top of that, the valves are designed for millions and millions of cycles. This technology is one of the most perfected and one of the most reliable technologies in today's modern world. So let's take a look <clears throat> at the elements involved in a Scout air rifle. First of all, you've got your trigger assembly, which consists of electronic board. You have your solenoid valve, which is the guts of what allows this gun to operate and adds to its tremendous reliability. You have the piloted valve itself. So this solenoid valve opens up and shoots a burst of air into that gap which moves this valve 30 thousandths of an inch. It's the only moving part in the entire system. And then of course we have the lower body, which houses the valve, actually in this direction, right in this area. So I'm just trying to show you that, that, that the electronics itself are very, very simple and very reliable. Coatings and everything have been added to the board to protect them from any type of moisture or any type of other problems. So a small electrical pulse goes from this board to that solenoid, opens that solenoid, pop burst of air, goes into this gap, and that's what fires the gun. And it, um, the whole valve there only moves about 30 thousandths of an inch. So there's very little to go wrong. Now, if you were to compare this to a standard air rifle, this solenoid valve replaces the sears, the valve springs, the entire hammer mechanism, everything that, that basically there's probably about 14 to 15 components that are all replaced by this one valve. And those components, they have timing issues. What I mean is they have to be perfectly adjusted like a clock in the traditional mechanical system. Everything needs to be in, you know, adjusted perfectly, balanced perfectly. And if one of those components deteriorates in any way, uh, the sear wears, spring changes, the valve changes in some way from use, what you end up having is a system that comes out of timing. Whereas an electro pneumatic system that we've developed here at Scout is so simple, it almost never comes out of timing. Obviously, sometimes you have to replace some components, but it's rare. And when you do, it, the gun goes right back to its original timing. So it, there's not this very...